We spent three weeks in Tortuguero, a sandbar nestled between the Caribbean and a network of freshwater rivers and canals, home to a dense rainforest and a wide diversity of wildlife. The Great Green Macaws, a local success story. Although globally critically endangered, numbers have been steadily improving in Tortuguero, following the introduction of beech almond as part of reforestation efforts. A common black hawk, imposing and ruthless, often found on the beach facing palms. This unfortunate juvenile iguana didn't stand much of a chance. Hoffman's two-toed sloth, one of the two species in Costa Rica. It is mostly nocturnal and so often napping when seen during the day. This one was quite unusually active. The brown-throated, free-toed sloth characteristically has free toes. They are mostly diurnal, though proved more elusive during my time in Tortuguero. We did come across this juvenile defecating at ground level during a night walk though, which was very lucky seeing as this normally only happens once a week. We kayaked into the waterways. Freshwater turtles can be seen sunning themselves on fallen debris. Herons line the banks. Sometimes called the snake bird or devil bird, the anhinger is a member of the data family and skewers fish on the end of its long, sharp bill. Breeding males have a characteristic blue eye ring. Much like other diving birds, they spend a lot of their time out the water, drying their wings and preening. Spectacled caiman, basking in the sun on the riverbank. American crocodiles, significantly larger, power through the waters around the river mouths. Apex predators, they may hunt just about anything that they come across.
northern jacana has long toes that let it skip across soft sand and also walk on floating vegetation like this juvenile here. Green herons are a small heron species and, similar to jacana, often use floating vegetation as opposed to wading in like larger herons. This one's on the prowl. Many animals are predominantly nocturnal in Tortuguero, including the eyelash vipers. This bat is hanging out at the cave entrance, waiting for nightfall. With a roughly 50-50 split of nighttime and daytime, there's a lot of nocturnal activity. Many of the reptiles and amphibians are found up in the trees. This immature bird constrictor was rescued from a local bathroom. Over one meter in length, it was safely relocated back to the jungle. It crushes its prey, killing predominantly by constriction of blood flow, as opposed to direct suffocation, as often alluded to. Still doesn't sound like a great way to go though. Even immature, these snakes are very impressive. 